Hello, welcome to this video. In this 5 minutes, we will learn how easy it is to get started with Bootstrap 5. We will see what are the new updates in Bootstrap 5. Also, we will build the UI for our login page. Before going straight to the code, let's see what are the changes we have in Bootstrap 5. Bootstrap 5 Alpha. Currently, it is running at version 5.0.0 Alpha 1. You can get a copy of latest bootstrap by visiting www.v5.getbootstrap.com. Just to let you know, it is still in alpha phase. So keep in mind, there will be major changes in the future. So in this video, we will build a login page and use the bootstrap 5 feature, like changing the primary color and using bootstrap 5 icons. So what's new in bootstrap 5? It has improved docs, new looks and feel, more explanation on how to customize, which was not that great in previous versions. This version includes a starter npm project. No more jQuery. Yes, you heard it right. No more jQuery. No longer need to include jQuery, but it still has all the JS plugins we need. It has updated forms, enhanced docs for better understand. Form components have been updated and redesigned. Form controls is customizable. It has expanded color palettes, which is which has more colors and more shade, shades to choose from. It has custom icons. It's new and improved. Now you don't have to import other, other font libraries to give a new look to your websites. There are multiple ways to use it. We will use in our example, so don't worry about it. It has utilities APIs, which helps you create your own custom tags and customize the previous uh, customize the ones which has in bootstrap itself. So with this codes, you can do that. Also, they have enhanced the grid layout and added some custom CSS properties and a lot more. So before going too deep in basic, let's get started into the code and head over to the code. So as I was saying that this is the website from where you can get a copy of yourself, uh, v5.getbootstrap.com. And in the meanwhile, let's jump over to the VS code. This is uh, VS code. And as you can see, I'm in a folder called bootstrap login page. And I will be using NPM to install bootstrap. So you need to have node installed in your system. If not, search how to install node in your system. So let me start my project by initializing it with the defaults. So with this command, it has initialized, as you can see, here is a package.json file. Now let's install bootstrap version latest. If you're watching in, in like later on, if you're watching in future, try to use next or to the version what you, what is have, what it has in the website. So it has alpha, alpha one. So this will ins download the uh, copy of Bootstrap. As you can see, we have node modules. Also, we need to download Bootstrap icons. So with that icons, as I was saying, it has improved icons and design. So let's see. Yes, so it is downloading. As you can see in the Bootstrap uh, node module, there is two files. One is Bootstrap, one is Bootstrap icons. So in the JS folder, you will have all those uh, files, as you can see also that. But in this video, uh, we will be using SAS to compile our, our code. So before going ahead and uh, like, I, I wanted to make sure that you have your SAS compiler installed. So let's install, if you don't have it, install this. And you need to configure this by going to your setting control and searching live SAS or let's see if we can go to the extension, find the live CSS compiler, go to our settings. As you can see, we have one, one code here. Uh, uh, you just ma make sure that you have uh, these settings for your live server compiler. So this is compress.css 
and the safe safe path is this so don't worry i'll i'll share the gist of this command this uh, syntax all this code so that you can use in your system so once we have this as you can see there is a button called watch sas so this will enable sas so head over to this and let's get started so first what we need is a sas folder not here somewhere here sas and inside this create a folder file called main dot s c s s okay so what we need here is to import our node from the node module import the code from the node module so how do we do this okay go to the more yes so with this go to node modules and bootstrap into the test folder let's inst include the sas folder so include sas and the bootstrap.scss so don't worry this these are not gibberish things as you, when you go to the node module bootstrap there's a folder called sas and here's a file called bootstrap.scss so we are exporting all all the files and to make ourselves use this code we need to import this so yes we have this okay now what we need is a html file so create an index.html file so this is emit nothing much bootstrap 5 login page okay and yes let's do one h1 and see whether it's working or not hello world also we need to include our css from the Mm -hmm. okay so once you click watch css what it does is see as i was saying the my custom it will create a css folder and inside that css folder it will create main.css so we need to import that main.css from there okay it's working still working so don't worry so meanwhile add some class to to the body or well, that is deflex to flex make it flex also there are other classes so as you can see uh, this is main.css as i was saying that uh, this will this is what it it compiles so for for that if you have those uh, uh, if you have the live server it will help you uh, generate these things so as i was saying deflex and the other thing is uh, text center so that it comes in center and let's add bg secondary and to as you can see it is watching it's watching the sas right click and open live server so yes it something has happened so let us see how it does it shows okay okay this is not the server we are looking for this was this is the page that was from the uh, demo i did earlier so as you can see uh, we have hello world and the background of that thing has changed 
background of the uh, it has used the background so let's change that background so how do we change it simply go to the main css and make sure that you write above so like variables and do variables with secondary and try to use any of the color which you like um, I like white off white to be specific so let me grab that value from another website and yes so this is the secondary color as you can see and once you once the code compiles and refreshes you would be able to see uh, you will be able to see the, the changes so let me see if it's working yes it's working so uh, we have changed the secondary color so this was just a basic so uh, why not let's build something what we intended to do uh, let's uh, move to our code and here in the code uh, I'll be using um, the code uh, so I don't be wasting your time I will be copying pasting the I have I already written those code so which was there earlier in the demo so I'll be bringing all those forms so I'll this is the form class let me bring that here so let me walk you through what I have brought I have created a form with the class login form and there I have imported an image from the node modules bootstrap icon icons bootstrap dot svg this is I was talking about and given height and width of something 80 pixel 80 width and class mb5 margin bottom 5 and there's a header there's a label input input tag so don't worry all this code will be in the gist in the description so you just need to copy this is the same basic uh, basic thing what bootstrap does so uh, e okay and 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 since uh, uh, we need to have one more file that is style.css scss style.scss and here again I will be bringing some code from my exercise file which is nothing but the basics of uh, custom basic customization of the form I, I, I wrote also making the HTML and body 100% and making it width and it looks feel like this so once uh, I say if you can see here uh, in the live code you, you you'll be able to see the form but it doesn't look good so what I wrote here in the style.scss that I need to bring it here in the main import main file so since it's a scss file uh, we just need to write the name of that file that is style and if you write that and let me see if that code has changed or not let me refresh it okay yes so as you can see this code has refreshed and we have the form uh, what we were planning to build so now let's customize this uh, primary color so how do we do that the same process as we did with the secondary example so head over to the file called main.css and here use primary and and again to be specific with what color I, I wanted I have one color in my mind that is uh, dark gray blue something like that so yes this is the code of that color so once I do that uh, you will be able to see it in the code in a minute so once I refresh you will be able to see the color change in the in the login button okay so as you can see 
this was the quick demo of how you should do your bootstrap 5 in less than or something like in between 5 minutes how how you can do that so it has already begun like uh, it has reached out to 15 minutes but don't worry this is very simple when you will be watching it you could just see those code and see what we are uh, having in bootstrap 5 so yes and uh, uh, that was the basic thing what we were like planning to do so yes so that was it we have built our login page ui and customize it using push step 5 features in 5 not 5 ish uh, it took 15 minutes um, if you have any questions do let me know by writing in the comment section also if you like this video do give it a thumbs up share among your friends and please subscribe to this channel uh, I'll be bringing more awesome contents. So yes, thanks for watching.